Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K40, the Mi 11X, also known as Poco F3 in some regions. Now today's video is really, really significant and really, really interesting. Reason being, we are talking about a version of MIUI 12.5, which you guessed it right, comes with Android 12 installed. Now this, of course, is a China beta and it might have some bugs here and there. I installed it this morning, the moment I got back from the trip, and I thought this is definitely worth a try. Let you guys know how is it, is it better what do you need to expect from miui 13 and android 12 combo everything that we're going to check out in this particular video but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time i upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. All right, so let's talk what we have over here, right? So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about settings, go to my device. This of course is a China beta, all specifications. Device is a Mi 11X, RAM is 6 GB, Octa-Core Max 2.75 GB, that's about right, Android version 12. So, the moment you go to 12 o'clock on the, there you go, you have this Android 12 Easter egg, so this is real Android 12. This is 12.5, 21.10.12 beta, it is a closed beta, it is not recommended for you guys to try it, because it might have some bugs and I definitely know for a fact that there are a few features that are missing in this particular update. We'll talk about it. The security patch, unfortunately, is still the 5th of September 2021. But that's something we can talk about later when we get the stable beta or the, you know, the public beta update. So first things first, you will boot into something that looks very, very similar to your routine China beta ROMs. You have your AI assistant from China. So if you press and hold, you click on reboot. Now you would be wondering why am I rebooting in the first place? I need to show you something when this phone boots up. There you go. You have the new MI logo splash screen is what you have. That is what I wanted to show you. And at the same time, the boot times is something that is not changed. You still have the, you know, same old MI 12.5 boot animation with some music in the background. You can go ahead and disable that in sound settings. But that is not all. We are going to talk about quite a lot of significant updates here. The moment you boot into MI year 12.5 based on Android 12, you will notice the first thing which is smoothness. The smoothness on this ROM is really, really nice. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because I've been using it since this morning and the smoothness has been something to talk about. If you talk about the app launch animation, they are very, very subtle, very, very smooth. And as you can see, this is a closed China beta. So it comes with the MIUI dialer. Even if you go ahead and open the application, it's opening for the first time. But if you go to more, you will see that it more or less has all the features that were there in the stable MIUI 12.5 but just look at the app closing and opening animation it is very very subtle very very smooth so xiaomi have definitely worked on the smoothness as far as this rom is concerned now the second thing that you would ask me is kalash that this is coming from android 12 so it will definitely have some android 12 features well trust me don't get your hopes high this is the first closed beta so it doesn't really have a lot of new features. In fact, it doesn't have many new features and some of the existing features which were present in the stable and beta update of 12.5 are in fact missing as well, right? Because this is the first Android 12 closed beta. Now, if we go to settings and see what have they changed over here. Now, the first thing, as I said earlier as well, just look at the smoothness and we've not even gone to 120 Hertz. So let's go to display here, right? and let's look for refresh rate toggle can you find it i can't find it let's see if it is there over here nope so i can't find the screen refresh rate now that is the reason i said you don't or you should not use this as a daily driver so if you go to display over here usually over here you would have display refresh rate option that is something I'm not able to locate. It might be somewhere else, but at least at this point of time, I'm not able to locate it. So you have the display option, which doesn't have a lot of features. And then you have this feature or option called sound and touch, right? 
Now you have all the usual things over here. There you go. Everything which is always has been there. If you go to additional settings over here, you have these many options for your audio. So if you go to notifications, you have these notifications over here, alarm, sound assistant. You have this sound assistant option over here, which was also present in MIUI 12.5. Vibrate for calls, vibrate in silent mode, profile video for incoming calls, sound effects. You have all the usual stuff over here. And over here, you have a separate section called touch, right? So you have something called as natural touch, which enables your haptic feedback. You can increase the haptic feedback level and you can decide what sort of critical feedback do you want. There you go. It also gives you a demo, right? You have four of these options over here with animations. Then you have bass over here. So you have these four options and then you have bass and you have pop, right? And you have realistic touch. There you go. It's again vibrating and giving me a hint or a gist. It says realistic tactile sensors make your interaction with the screen more clear and articulated. So this touch section over here is really, really neat. I'm pretty glad that, you know, they're going ahead and making a difference to the way your touch feels on this particular device, especially haptic feedbacks. It is really, really good to see a company focus on haptic feedbacks because that is something sets phones like the iPhone 12 apart from Androids and some high end Androids are working really, really well with haptics, right? Now, there is one more fix that they have mentioned. Of course, you don't have a change log, but they did st state that the free RAM has been updated like right now it shows you the correct free ram so over here you have the miui 13 style launcher or, or the miui 13 launcher you can directly go to gallery or wallpapers you have your android 12 or miui 13 style widgets over here and just see the smoothness just see how quickly and how smoothly it actually opens on the screen and that is something really really neat to see if you press and hold over here or pinch you have widgets so you do have your ton of widgets over here, as you can see. And they are organized in a MIUI 13 and Android 12 manner. So that is something really, really neat. And then you have your settings over here in which if you go to more, you have your classic home screen and then you have the one with app drawer. You can lock the home screen layout, arrange items in recents could be set to horizontally and show memory status, right? Now, once you go to the home screen, let's see. 3.1 gigabytes of 6 gigabytes is free and the multitasking menu is pretty neat. You do have split screen, lock the phone, lock the app in memory. So all those features are present and they are working fine as well. Now, as I said, in the camera section, you don't really have any new features. The existing features which were there are present and the camera works absolutely fine. There are no major changes in the camera application at all. Now, to the left, if you see over here, you have the MIUI 13 app vault, which is much more smoother and cohesive than it used to be earlier, right? And as far as installing the Play Store is concerned, I've installed the Play Store from this Get Apps option. Even this has a new user interface. So if you install any application for that matter, you will have this UI coming over here, right? Let's go ahead and actually cancel this. We don't need it. Right, so App Vault has been updated. If you talk about the security application, you have a newer version of security which comes with an updated video toolbox and the new Game Turbo 4.0, which works like a charm. So all the benchmarks that we ran were ran using Game Benchmark, were ran using Game Turbo 4.0. If you look over here, this is the new Game Turbo 4.0. It comes with the English UI and see this sidebar which has all the applications so that is something really really neat and it looks different as well now talking about the unlock types you don't really have face unlock available right so in lock screen and fingerprint you don't have the face unlock option you just have fingerprint and fingerprint is working absolutely fine now another interesting thing over here is if you go to battery over here you will see it has the new UI and you have this profile mode in which you can put it to power saver or you can put it to performance mode and it will tell you that device performance will improve. This might increase power consumption and lead to overheating issues. Turn on anyhow, okay, right? You can see this is the new battery UI working like a charm. I think this is what it will look in MIUI 13 like. So when you have the performance mode enabled, you will have a 
persistent notification over here and then you have 5g battery saver ultra battery saver you have app battery saver which can allow you to save battery per app and then you have different scenarios the battery section has received a overhaul over here which is really really neat and you do have this poor normal good excellent so that is the rating of your battery backup and stuff like that so something really really good being added to the battery section that is battery profiles now when we talk about benchmark numbers that's when you come to know that this is still a beta rom because what happens is i did take screenshots of the cpu throttle test and file format isn't supported or files are corrupted so the screenshot got corrupted but i do remember the score was around 204 or 205000 gips and the cpu had throttled to 95% of its max performance so the performance was pretty insane as far as you know performance on the stock rom is concerned and i did use game turbo and the performance mode on the battery let's also have a look at antutu over here now all these performance tests were done with game turbo enabled 679 380 so that's a pretty rock solid score uh, probably the highest ever that i've seen on a stock rom although this is a china beta and even if we talk about the geekbench number they are pretty pretty strong so let's go to history for example 995 single core and 3294 multi core so all in all miui 12.5 based on android 12 is a step in the right direction by the time they add all the features and get things working this will be pretty significant and pretty awesome and this is how they are planning to roll out the global roms as well i have high expectations from miui 13 let me know in the comment section if you want me to make a how to install video of this particular update or not until the next one, this is Kailash signing off for Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.